Retro Rob plays everything. Hey there gamers, Retro Rob here. It's time for another haul video. I was hoping to get some Vita games that I ordered from Play Asia in on this haul, but they're just not freaking showing up. Now they were on pre-order, so it takes a while for that stuff to show up, but these were ordered like a while ago and are still not in, but hopefully I will have them for a future haul video. Uh, basically, I'm gonna run this one because some of this stuff you've already seen in videos now, and I'd hate to get so far uh, behind in this that uh, you're, you're just seeing stuff you've seen before. So I'll start with some stuff you've seen before and then some new stuff that's coming out in future videos, and hopefully that'll make this bearable for you. Anyway, the first thing is Holy Diver for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I've already done a video on this. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, definitely check it out. It's a very hard game. It's a Castlevania style of thing. And it was originally released only in Japan back in, I think, 1989. Uh, but they reissued it uh, for the American, and I guess European audience. Uh, there's, there's one for them too. And this was so worth it. <laughs> it was, I think I paid like 45 or 50 bucks for it on Amazon and just a really cool game. I love the little extras that came with it. Again, if you want to see a full breakdown of what all comes in the box, check out that video and I'll be glad to oblige. I guess former me will be glad to oblige. Anyway, my Nintendo's still over here though. I should probably find another Nintendo game to uh, another Nintendo game, Elucidate, uh, <laughs> to play on it. Uh, so I don't keep pulling it out just to play one game. Anyway, next, I've got Burger Time for the Nintendo Switch. Love the heck out of Burger Time. Um, well, I've played it quite a few times on this station, but this, of course, is a remake of it. Graphically, I really like it. It keeps the basic gameplay of Burger Time. They added a little bit of a, a puzzly element uh, right at the beginning, but you can play a classic mode as well. So, uh, really pretty neat. I actually like it. It's I paid 30 bucks for it. I think you should probably wait till it's down to like 20, but pretty cool. I will probably do a video on it especially getting closer to Christmas. Uh, you'll probably see some more videos out of me and more just gameplay videos where I'm messing around. I took a week off uh, uh, for Christmas and I'm alone most of that time and I usually use that time to do some live streams. Warning radiation at unsafe levels. Hey, Future Rob here, and I am breaking into this video because I've got some more stuff to show you. Uh, there was a huge clearance at Target, and I picked up some video gaming stuff there, and also some stuff came in the mail, so I'm gonna show them to you really quick. Uh, I'm not gonna do like any breakaway editing, but I did want to fit them in because it's kind of a small video anyway. First thing is Space Invaders Zipper Pool. Pools, I can't say it right. I've tried this three times. I'm not restarting the recording again. Zipper pulls. <laughs> you pull them. You put them on a zipper. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. There's there's pins. Space Invaders pins too. It's morning and I haven't had my coffee yet. You can tell. So there's that. I'll be doing like all these like little things in one video. And the Pac-Man food pin set, which I think is really kind of weird. Kind of mash up. Little ice cream cone. Little ice cream cone ghosts and uh, Pac-Man donuts. Which sound delicious. Next, uh, I have these little Atari keychains. I got two of these. One of them is on my keychain now. This thing's awesome. Like I said, all these things right there, I'm going to put into one video. But, uh... It looks great, but don't actually put it on a keychain because it wears out really fast. Uh, more stuff I got from the Target thing. These were clearing out at like eight bucks. So I picked up a Mappy mini arcade. I've been kind of out of these lately. I really like the tiniest ones and the uh, rather larger ones with multiple games on it. But I figured, hey, I'll give it a try, right? I like Mappy, it's a pretty good game. Next. Killer Queen Black just showed up. I pre-ordered this. Still no Vita games though. 
even though one of them claims to have been shipped. There's Killer Queen. It's a little bit like Joust. Uh, I will be doing a video on this one. I'm excited to get it. My kid's excited too, which nothing excites the boy anymore. But that did. There we go. The G230 headset. I go through headsets quite a bit because uh, I abuse them. I put them into bags and uh, other than these, which I've had for years, but uh, the other ones get thrown into bags and things and brought to conventions. So uh, I always pick up extra ones just in case. Anyway, that is it. Let's go back to the rest of the video. Retro Rob plays everything. Anyway, next we've got Billionaire Banshee also for the Nintendo. Get out two Nintendo pickups and both of them like new releases. And we played this on Guys Games and Beer and it is fun as heck. If you have friends, you need to play this game with them. Uh, I had a blast with it. It's pretty hilarious. It's kind of neat to th see what your friends think of you, you know, and <laughs> they think my dating standards are pretty low, I'll tell you that. Sorry, darling. It's just what they think. Anyway, keep going. I've got, uh, wait, I'm going to do another one. Wait. Yeah, I'll do another one that you see. Uh, the next one is, of course, the PXN joystick, which I also did a review on. Uh, this works with the Switch, the PC, Xbox, Xbox 360 by Xbox, I mean Xbox One, uh, PS4, PS3, and you know pretty much anything else you can plug it into. Although I did test it with, uh, I did test it with this recently and it didn't work with it, so I was kind of sad about that. It's weird too because it usually uses this kind of thing with no problem. But anyway, um, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Got it for free too, which is always nice. PXN sent me something else too, which is in here. They sent it after the other video, so. By the way, I don't do reviews if uh, they like, I, I, I have this thing where if they send me something, that's fine, I'll cover it. But I don't do that thing where they'll say like, uh, buy it on Amazon, we'll reimburse you because sometimes they hold it over your head. So uh, I just don't do that. I'd rather not get reimbursed. I'd rather just do stuff I like, which actually I like their stuff quite a bit. That's why I offered to do them. But anyway, next we've got a box copy of Cosmic Arc. How I don't have this, how I did not have this before is beyond me. I love this game and I did finally get a box copy. I'm gonna try and get more and more Magic games in boxes because I really love their cover art. I think it's really nice. Love that silver, love their artwork. I think I'll do the other PXN thing. Ooh, that's big. All right, another thing from PXN. This gaming wheel, I have not unboxed it yet. It will be coming up in an unboxing very soon. The V900 has a vibration function. It works with the Switch. So I'm totally gonna test it out on the Switch again. I really like, um, uh, smaller form factor, like, I don't know that, I think that's full size, but anyway, I like um, stuff that works with the Switch just because it, I, I find it novel playing like with big, big joysticks on that thing. I don't know why, because it's such a tiny little device, I guess, is why. Analyze that all you want, folks. Have fun. Next, this is also coming up in a very, very near future video. It's my Doom Slayer. Game's not coming out till next year now, but I do have a Doom Slayer. And I do like my Doom. So we'll see how this figure works out. I don't buy a whole lot of figures, but when I do, they're Doom or Halo. Which is funny considering how little Halo I play these days. One thing left, and it's a big one. Uh, finally, I did finally get the uh, Pal Kitty X18 which I think I've promised on several occasions that I was gonna cover sooner or later. Uh, it is now later and I'm going to cover it. This video will be coming out very soon. I'm actually pretty far into it. Um, my, uh, I'm gonna stare at it for a second, okay? I wanna show you something, but 
gotta get this out of the way. There we go. There. 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 All right. I just wanted to show you the screen because it's pretty nice. It's got a big screen on it. Uh, but anyway, it it's such a mixed bag. There are so many things I like about this device, and there's so many things I hate about it. It's it's gonna take me forever to talk about it. Uh, so it will be split up in two separate videos, much like I did the GPD-XD. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more meat on the front end than I did in the original GPD-XD video because I noticed uh, people really liked the second video. So this is gonna kind of be like the first and second video combined. And then I'll just be doing some individual gameplays. I've already got some of my favorites on here and they run fine. Really love the joystick. I I, I don't want to go into a full review, but I really love these joysticks and I really hate the fact that I have not been able to get Google Play on here no matter what I've tried. I've tried a lot of different ways to get it on there in a lot of different versions and thus far, no luck. That's a big deal. Why, Pow Kitty, if you're out there, why would you make <laughs> a freaking Android device that can't use the Google Play Store? That's, that's outrageous. That is just a base exploit. Ex ex Blah. That is a base <laughs> expectation. Uh, English. That's a base expectation of an Android device that the Google Play Store will work with it. And no, I'm not missing Google services. Let's let's just assume that I'm past that stage of knowledge. Um, that actually the big hang up is the Google Play services because they just don't seem to work on here. Uh, they either crash repeatedly or just don't come up which is really too bad because everything about this system I pretty much like. I mean, it's not quite to the GPD XD's level, but it's pretty good and I've had a lot of fun with it. So, I'm done ranting about it. Video's definitely coming soon. And that is it. That is all I have picked up recently. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.